Our understanding of the world has changed a lot over the years. We no longer think the Earth is flat. Well, most of us don't anyway. We know how volcanoes work, and we have explored almost every inch of land we can reach. With that said, there are some places that still baffle us, whether we are the locals who have lived there all our lives, or the scientists that go there just to study. That's right, today I'm counting down the top 10 scientifically impossible places that actually exist. Poland's Crooked Forest has long beckoned visitors with a penchant for the unusual. Science suggests that the G-shaped trees that are growing within are an impossibility, yet they are here for all to see, even if a reason for their misshapen nature cannot be explained. There are countless theories about the Crooked Forest, but so far none has been proven or disproven. Known to local people as Kurzewi Las, the forest can be found in Poland's western fringes, not far from the border with Germany. Some believe that invading tanks flattened young saplings during World War II, causing the recovering trees to take such a strange shape. But others have blamed aliens, gravitational fluctuations, and the thick snowfall for which the region is renowned, all without evidence or a convincing argument. The active Kawa Asian volcano in Baniwang Regency, Java, is one of the world's most extraordinary volcanoes. Instead of producing the usual red lava and black smoke, its underground activities result in electric blue lava and flames rising into the air. Kava Asian's fabled blue lava has long drawn the curious to Java. Here, on this stunning Indonesian island, the volcano's spectacular eruptions are a sight to behold. The phenomenon has long fascinated scientists, but although the colors cannot be questioned, the underlying cause is not as most believe. The lava here is not originally blue, but becomes it due to a natural phenomenon. Indeed, the volcano has some of the highest levels of sulfur in the world, and when the volcano's sulfuric gases come into contact with air temperature above 360 degrees Celsius, the lava turns blue. Planning a trip to Russia? This is a spot to avoid at all costs. Lake Karachay's scenic shoreline is considered the most polluted place on the planet. In the 1990s, tests revealed that just standing close to the lake for a single hour would in all likelihood result in death. The big problem here is radiation. For decades, the Soviets worked on a top-secret atomic bomb project in this remote region. The radioactive waste? It all dumped into the Lake Karachay. Convenient, perhaps, but this came at quite a cost. The landscape here might be beautiful, but it's also deadly. Science might suggest that such levels of radiation are impossible, but the slapdash Soviets have proved otherwise. The lake has since been filled in, but risks remain, with the soil here presenting grave dangers to human health. The Russian government has restricted access, meaning it's impossible to visit, not that you would want to. Tourists flock to Piedmont to see Italy's famous double tree. Here, on a much-visited site between Grana and Casarso, a cherry tree grows atop a mulberry. Science suggests that such a thing should not be possible, but there can be no disputing the facts. This place and these trees do actually exist. Called the double tree of Casarso, this is quite an anomaly. It isn't unheard of for one of tree to grow on top of another, but growth tends to be limited in such instances, with neither tree able to thrive or to reach a significant size. This is where Bialbera di Casorsa stands out, defying science and proving that anything is possible. It's thought that long ago a bird must have dropped a cherry stone onto the mulberry tree when flying overhead. This sounds plausible, but no one could have imagined that it would turn out quite like this. Deep in the Amazon rainforest, there is a river that boils at a temperature of 196 degrees Fahrenheit or 91.1 degrees Celsius. The water boils everything that touches it, whether that's unsuspecting frogs or fish that realize too late that the water is heating up. The deadly temperature already means that the place is a unique one, but things actually get much, much weirder when you know the details. The thing is, only one phenomenon can cause river temperatures to get so high, and that's if the water is on top of or right next to a volcano. Unfortunately for scientists, the nearest volcano is almost 700 kilometers away, far too distant to have any kind of impact. People are clueless as to what else could be causing the water to boil, as it behaves unlike any river anywhere else in the world. 
We all heard the saying, lightning never strikes the same place twice. Well, at Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela, lightning can strike up to 280 times an hour and last for 10 hours a day. Called catacumba lightning, this is an atmospheric phenomenon that just goes on and on. It's thought the region's unique topography and wind patterns contribute to this unique phenomenon, but the precise reason is unclear, with this an occurrence that continues to puzzle the country's brightest scientific minds. When the storm clouds gather high above the mouth of the Catacumba River, you know you are in for a show. The Devil's Kettle Waterfall, also called Disappearing River, has long fascinated visitors to Minnesota's Judge C.R. Magnet State Park. Located on Lake Superior's scenic northern shores, there is a great deal to see and do in this beautiful park, but most are drawn to this wonderful wilderness to see its extraordinary waterfall. The fast-flowing river defies the laws of nature and puzzles scientists and explorers alike. It splits in two, with one side dropping over a standard 50-foot waterfall, whilst the other vanishes without a trace. Scientists think the river must drain somewhere beneath Lake Superior, but they have been unable to prove it. And another hypothesis is this portion of the river plunges into a vast pothole that can't be seen from the surface before rejoining the main flow a little further downstream. Researchers and other curious visitors have dropped various objects into the hole and searched for signs of them in an attempt to solve the mystery, but so far none have been found. This place gives a fresh meaning to the term rock concert. Here in northern Pennsylvania, not far from the scenic Delaware River, those with a penchant for the inexplicable gather to experience a genuine scientific oddity. The large rocks that litter the ground here ring like bells when struck. Our advice for anyone planning a visit? Make sure to bring a hammer. Scientists have long studied Pennsylvania's remarkable ringing rocks, but a clear explanation remains elusive. Make no mistake about it, this is something that shouldn't be possible. But there is no question that the rocks here do ring, although not all are audible. It was once thought that just one third of the rocks made their distinctive sound, yet research in 1965 discovered that all the rocks here ring, but some sound at a pitch that is lower than the human ear can detect. That research didn't alas determine the cause. Normally impossible places are naturally occurring. They were around long before humans discovered them, and they will continue to baffle scientists until humans no longer exist. However, this one is unique in that humans literally created it, but still can't explain how it works. Here is the story. Residents of Hokkaido tried to create a reservoir, but when they made a dam to block the river, something unusual happened to the water. They managed to create the lake they wanted, but the water wasn't transparent, it was an opaque sparkling blue. Not only that, but the shade of the blue changed with the seasons, going from a light turquoise to a deep sapphire color. Some scientists have suggested that the concentration of aluminum hydroxide could be causing the metallic blue color, but the truth is that the situation is so unique, it is hard to prove anything. This is definitely one spot you need to see with your own eyes, as it's hard to believe it could exist otherwise. Science suggests that the Bermuda Triangle is a little more than a myth. Rational researchers are adamant that this is the stuff of folklore, but doubts persist and anything seems possible. The Bermuda Triangle covers a huge area in the North Atlantic Ocean, spanning more than 500,000 square miles. It is also known as the Devil's Triangle or Hurricane Alley, as countless ships and planes are said to have disappeared without a trace whilst in this area. But does this mean that the legend is true? Science suggests that the legend of the Bermuda Triangle is a manufactured mystery, perpetuated by writers who either purposefully or unknowingly made use of misconceptions, faulty reasoning, and sensationalism. One explanation pins the blame on leftover technology from the mythical lost continent of Atlantis, when another says that unusual local magnetic anomalies may exist in the area, confusing compasses and leading ships to get lost. There is also the myth that violent storms occur in the triangles, sinking ships.